my hair wants to grow long. It's like a, it's blonde hair, but it wants to grow long. Is that because my body is growing hair to stop me from getting cancer from the sun? Like, is there a body reaction mm-hmm. where, because I'm fair, I'm fair skinned, mm-hmm. is my body growing hair on like my arms and stuff and, and, and to, to stop the sun from uh, killing me? Yeah, I mean, hair is protective. So a couple things. One is... Um, wasn't a stupid question. Hair, hair is, <laughs> I think the, the hair is growing to prevent you from getting right, more so tattoos. Trying, it could be trying to protect me, no? Hair, I mean, hair is protective. If you've ever... Uh, well, you guys have both gone snowboarding up to the mountains. Yeah. And, um, when you have some hair on your face, it's less cold and less painful, right? Yeah. So it is protective. Um, it acts as another layer, right? Yeah. Sure. Um, the interesting thing about hair, at least the most interesting thing to me about hair, is that every one of your little hair follicles, which are all over your body, has stem cells in them. So nah. That, yeah, they continually renew that hair. So I'll give you a couple facts about hair that most people don't realize. You know the reason hair goes goes gray, which I'm starting to get a lot nah. more, is that as you age, that follicle starts making peroxide. So when like guys like Tony and them were bleaching their hair, you, no, you hadn't had naturally blonde hair, but like in the 80s, I remember everyone was like yeah, bleaching yeah. their hair. No, was, With peroxide, your yeah, body I was naturally, exaggerating it, <laughs> naturally, sure. naturally makes uh, <laughs> the number of kids that had that haircut I know. <laughs> I oh, my know. God. No, People watching this are not going to uh, just – you have to understand the number of kids that showed up, skateboarders and non-skateboarders, with that haircut. Yeah. Was unbelievable. I, I, someone was, told me that that um, there were it's barber shops or uh, hair styling places in their town that, that would say salons that said Tony Hawk haircut and then a price. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it was Amazing. Just bizarre. Amazing. It's freaking awesome. I just borrowed it from Stob. It is awesome. So, so anyway – I borrowed it from Stob. Got it. Got it. Um Hair yeah. changes color. So, it, so it, you, the the hair follicle has a little stem cell niche. There's some stem cells in there. Yeah. There's actually a guy up at UC uh, San Francisco named uh, Yamanaka is his last name. He won the Nobel Prize, showing you could take a hair cell, you can put it in a dish. This this is happens now. You can give it four what they call Yamanaka factors. These are just like genes that you make during development, and you can turn that cell into anything: a neuron, a liver cell. This is going. To, this has completely eliminated the need for embryonic stem cells. You know that whole debate because yeah. those were taken from human embryos. Yeah. They don't do that anymore. They can take any cell. They can grow it in a dish, and they can grow a a, a Jason Ellis liver. Yeah. For you to give you back a liver. They can. I this is care. now I, possible. I, I, it's, I might have needed that if I hadn't quit drinking. I think I'm okay. Yeah. So it's so. I don't want so, the Jason Ellis liver. By yeah, the way. No. <laughs> Fair. The, um, so, you know, hair is an amazing little biological niche that we could talk about for hours, the peroxide thing, the stem cell thing. But what you're asking is, you know, is is it the body's attempt to protect you from something? Yeah. Basically, it's a carryover from evolution where we evolved from species that had a lot more hair on them. And right. that hair has regressed for whatever reason. But probably because, you know, and... That means I'm a bit of a Neanderthal. A little bit.